Hello again. You know this whole moon landing and uh, Neil Armstrong hmm? and Buzz Aldridge and all the rest of the boys and the gals. <laughs> well, I started doing a little bit of research and um, I'm going to provide you with some information that you may or may not be aware of. There's a field of radiation that surrounds the planet with 25,000 miles in length. No organic unit can go through this field of radiation and survive. Let me go through that again. There's a field of radiation called the Van Allen radiation belt and it's approximately 25,000 miles away from Earth. Now we can send machines through there to take photographs of Mars, to take photographs of the Moon, and wherever else. Machines can survive. But no organic matter can survive. Now you say, well Gabe, how far away is the moon? Well, the moon's 238,900 miles away. The Van Allen belt is 25,000 miles away. Well, Gabe, how can those astronauts survive in the space station? The space station is 249 miles away. So what I'm telling you folks is that Neil Armstrong never landed on the moon. And I made that video where I talked about and I had the wrong astronaut. And I said whenever he jumped you could see the dirt or the sand or whatever it was fall at the same rate that it would fall on Earth. So it never happened. I made a mistake. I said it was John Glenn, and I wasn't giving it a whole lot of thought. I corrected the mistake. But we've been lied to by our government for pretty much forever about everything. Kennedy, J.F. Kennedy, said we're going to be on the moon within the next century or whatever it was he said specific to the time frame and then they got all kinds of funding and we never went to the moon and Neil Armstrong lied to us when you read about the Van Allen belt and I'm gonna attach some WikiLeak information on it no organic matter can go through it and survive. Van Allen Belt is an impenetrable barrier in space. <laughs> if it's impenetrable, how do you get through it? Well, you don't. See, back when this thing supposedly happened, we didn't have the kind of access to information we have now. They lied to us about everything. 9-11 didn't happen the way they said it did. Sandy Hook didn't happen the way they said it did. Folks, I don't make the news. All I do is the best I can to provide you with the material you need to have to make your own conclusion. I'm going to attach the Van Allen Belt Radiation Belt Wikipedia. I'm going to attach another link, Van Allen Probe Spot an Impenetrable Barrier in Space from NASA. Moon Landing Hoax, Van Allen Radiation Belt, Live Leak. If they did it, How'd they do it? There's an article that you can also Google. They found 
another belt. They now have three. So, how did they get there? It is impossible to travel to the moon because of the Van Allen belt. These people need to be held accountable for the endless lies that our government has them make. Hate to burst your bubble, but it couldn't have happened. It still can't happen. Humans are trapped on the surface of this earth other than to play games up in a space station. But you can't go through an impenetrable barrier. Sort of get it? Good. Pass it along. Let your friends know what you now know that they probably won't believe. Have them prove me wrong. They can't. Can they?